Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss class 7th science chapter 13 changes physical and chemical heading let's recall 1. What are the causes of the changes occurring in our surroundings? 2. What is meant by man-made changes? Which are these changes? Heading Observe and discuss What changes have taken place in the material seen in the following pictures? What kind of changes are they? Which points will you consider while classifying the following changes into two groups? A fruit falling from a tree, rusting of iron, raining, lightning in electric bulb, cutting vegetables. Heading, can you tell? Which of the above changes have occurred of their own accord or naturally? We have previously studied some example of changes. Changes like ripening of a fruit, spoiling of milk occur naturally. These are called natural changes. Can you think of other example of such natural changes? What changes have you seen taking place in the materials in our surroundings? Let us learn about changes in a greater detail in this lesson. Heading, can you tell? We see many man-made materials in our day-to-day -day life. What, for what purpose are they produced? Many changes such as sharpening a pencil, baking bread, cooking food are useful to us and thus are called useful changes. The changes that are not useful or changes that do us harm are called harmful changes. Box heading Use your brain power. 1. What kind of change is the falling of a tree in a storm? 2. What kind of change is the conversion of milk into yogurt? Heading, think about it. Now, can you now classify the natural and man-made changes you have listed as useful and harmful changes? So far, we have studied certain types of changes. What can you tell about two of these? Namely, bursting of a balloon and ripening of a fruit from the point of view of the duration, that is, the time they take to happen. The duration of bursting of a balloon is far shorter than that of a ripening of a fruit. Changes that take place in a short period of time are called fast or quick changes, while changes that take place over a long period of time are called slow changes. Heading Use Your Brain Power Give some examples of fast and slow changes that occur in your surroundings. Box Heading Have some fun Subheading Apparatus Pieces of glass mangle, a candle, a matchbox, etc. Subheading Procedure Hold a piece of glass bangle in the candle flame, supporting it with your fingers. Take care to heat the pieces in the middle, keeping its two ends outside the flame. Observe it as the middle gets heated and becomes soft. It bends due to the finger pressure on its end. In this way, bring the two ends together and let the piece cool. A toran can be made by linking such pieces with each other. Make such torans of different pattern and colors and decorate your class and home. Heading, can you tell? 1. You made a link from the glass piece. How will you change the shape of the link to give it its original shape? 2. How will you restore the original candle after melting one? Melting some wax and obtaining the original solid wax again is something that we can do repeatedly. The changes that can occur in a forward and reverse direction again and again are called reversible changes. A ripe mango, however, 
cannot be transformed back into a raw mango. Wood cannot be obtained from the ash formed on burning the wood. Box heading. Use your brain power. What is meant by irreversible change? Give some examples. Heading, can you tell? 1. What comes after daytime? 2. What is the next stage after sunrise? 3. What comes after a high tide in the sea? 4. A bird sitting on a tree flies away. 5. Flooding. 6. A meteor streaking across the sky. On considering the above examples, we find that some changes occur again and again after a definite interval of time. Such changes are called periodic changes. On the other hand, it cannot be said for sure and certain changes will reoccur after one occurrence. Even if they reoccur, the time interval is not fixed. Such changes are called non-periodic changes. Heading Use Your Brain Power 1. What type of change is the change of seasons from summer to rains to winter? 2. Which hands of clock show periodic changes from 6 am to 6 pm? How many times? Headings observe. 1. Which of the changes shown in the picture alongside are temporary? 2. Which of the changes are permanent? 3. In which of the changes did the original matter undergo a change? 4. In which did the original matter remain unchanged? 5. In which of the substance was a new substance with a new property formed? In some of the above examples of changes, the properties of the original substances remain the same, that is, their composition remains unchanged. No new substance is formed. Such a change is called physical change. The change due to which one substance is transformed into another substance having new and different properties is called a chemical change. Heading, let's recall. 1. What, what processes occur during the change of state of matter? 2. What happens when water is taken in a bowl and heated? The process of formation of water from a liquid is called evaporation. Drying of clothes, formation of salt from sea water are possible due to evaporation. We have studied some processes that are a part of the water cycle. Which are these processes? No, the original properties of water change during these processes. Previously, we have learned about the processes of dissolving, dissolving, boiling and melting. They are all examples of physical change. Heading, use your brain power. Which of the following are physical changes and which are chemical? Making a table from wood, burning wood, breaking of glass object, ripening of a tomato, rusting of a iron. Heading, try this. Subheading, apparatus. Evaporating dish, sugar, burner, tripod, etc. Procedure, take some, take some sugar in the evaporating dish. Place the dish on a tripod and heat it. Observe the changes taking place in the sugar. Stop heating when a blackish substance is seen at the bottom of the evaporating dish. What kind of change does the above process bring about? Heading Corrosion When an iron article rusts, a reddish brown layer forms on it. A greenish layer is seen to have formed on a copper article. This process is called corrosion of metals. Things become weak due to corrosion. Corrosion is caused by oxygen, moisture, vapors of chemicals in the air. Box. Always remember. While classifying changes, 
we take into account only one criterion at a time. However, a number of different criterion can be applied to the same change. Box heading, do you know? Iron articles are given a thin coat of zinc to prevent corrosion. This is called calvinization. Copper and brass articles are coated with tin. This is called tinning. In this age of technology, a new process called powder coating has been developed. Coat of various colors are applied on metals like iron and aluminium. They prevent corrosion of the metal. Thank you.